what we've been doing in Redis is to extend the sort of core notion of what Redis is. So most people are familiar with the core data structures, lists, hashes, sorted sets. What we've been doing with Redis is to extend it to allow it to encompass many more use cases. The Gap is a great example of being able to use full text search. And this is where the Redis search module comes in. Um, and so we do everything from streams, graphs, time series, uh, Bloom, JSON, and so on and so forth. These are just additional ways of uh, looking at your data, manipulating that data, uh, but all preserving the core characteristics you like of Redis. What do you like about Redis? It's really, really, really fast. It's very easy to scale. And that means that you can unlock new value to the business because you can access much more data uh, much more quickly, and you can now look at that data in many, many different ways. The key capability for all of these is the speed at which we do this. So every time we look at a new type, type of data structure, uh, what we do is we look at the implementation and then we compare it with the best in class. And so we are constantly benchmarking and so when we look at streams, we can do it 500x faster than the best streaming solution. When we look at graph, when we look at JSON, um, we always look with this kind of lens of how fast we can serve the data. Um, what is the average latency that we can do? How many operations per second? And so when you're using uh, Redis for these particular use cases, you're gonna be guaranteed to get a very fast and very optimal solution. And so this is sort of part of a, a, a bigger transition that's happening in Redis. 